everybody. Remember those homemade watercolors from last week? If you don't remember, check out the video, Materials, Homemade Watercolors. Today we're going to experiment with what we made. Hopefully they've sat quite a while in your fridge. And um, we're also going to need any tea bag. So you're gonna make yourself a cup of tea, pause the video, drink that tea, and then come back when you're ready. All right, so we're gonna experiment with watercolors. So if you didn't make the homemade watercolors, of course you can just use regular watercolors. You're gonna need a paintbrush. If you don't have a paintbrush, you could use something like an old sponge or these little Q-tips that you might find in your bathroom. Um, you can experiment with all of them if you have them. Um, and then of course I suggested a cup of tea. And the reason I did that was because you're gonna take your tea bag and place it on the paper and just let it sit for a while. And this is gonna take a while for the tea bag to dry out and sit on your paper, but we're gonna discover something really cool once it dries out a bit. And in the meantime, you can of course take any uh, water soluble pen or marker, like Crayola markers were great for this. Um, this is a water soluble pen, so as I draw, if I made a line here, I could of course add some water to it and it would start to run a little bit and make it makes a little bit of a a gray color around my line. So this is just experimenting with your watercolors for now. Um, this one was black tea, black tea watercolor here. This one was the beet juice. And of course, give them a little shake before you open them up because the the stuff inside may have settled. There's my turmeric. You can see that a lot of turmeric is settled at the bottom. And this one was a berry tea right here. So we're just gonna see how these turn out on white paper. So if you have a paintbrush, you could use a paintbrush and you just dip and start painting. You can add layers and see how that works out. Um, if you don't have a paintbrush, use one of these Q-tips. You might see the different colors. And if you want to get really scientific, you could label what, what you're coloring with. So this was beet, beet juice that I dropped onto the paper. This is pen and water. This is a tea bag. This was black tea, I believe. This one was turmeric. Keep going. Here's the beet juice. I think this one turned out really nice here. And I'm just making, I could make dots or I could make lines, squiggles. I can see what happens as I add and go across the page, what happens to the color. You're gonna notice that if you're using the homemade watercolors, they don't turn out so bright compared to store-bought watercolors, but it still gives a nice, interesting layering look. And if you wanna see um, the artist that this project was inspired by, you can click on the link underneath the video. It's this artist paints with root beer. So check that out if you wanna see some, some artwork. Here's a sponge, and the sponge is pretty big. I might just use a part of it, but I can dunk it and then press. That made like a pretty even color. And when you're all done, you might wanna do the similar experiment to the tea bag is where maybe you take your sponge, if you were using a sponge, and you dip it and leave it, and you could dip your Q-tips in color and just leave them. And so pause, take a walk, do something else, and uh, wait for everything to dry really well. So you don't wanna pick up anything on your paper until it's all dry, all right? Come back when, when you've noticed everything is dried out. All right, so you can check out my tea bag stain that has appeared. I didn't wait 100% until my paper dried, so 
you might want to do that because now I can't really draw on it but if you wait for it to dry you can go back into your artwork and maybe add some different things and be inspired by the shapes that are made this this looks kind of like a bug to me so I might go back in and draw some lines around it but you can also just leave it as is it, it was an experimentation of different colors um, and and what homemade watercolor might look like and some abstract tea tea bag art here so and if you really like the tea bag art you could of course collect old tea bags and try to make a paper that's filled with different spots and and uh and make some artwork using that method all right so have fun art making i can't wait to see what you come up with